Dear all, in this session, we are going to explain the demonstration of the experiment, namely crystal oscillator. So for the ultimate goal of the experiment is to design and set up the crystal oscillator and uh, calculate the frequency of oscillation. As you can see, this is your circuit diagram of crystal oscillator as uh, it is very clear that uh, the entire circuit comprises of the two segments. The first one is the common emitter amplifier. This is your common emitter configuration. Then we have crystal also. These are the two major segments. And uh, these two resistors are mainly for biasing and uh, the expected output will be sinusoidal waveform. And uh, you need to determine the frequency of that particular waveform as well as uh, the amplitude. That is the ultimate goal of the experiment. Uh, now uh, we are to select the passive components. Crystal we are supposed to select. Uh, then uh, for bi uh, the biasing voltage, VCC, we require a separate RPS. Uh, then uh, we need uh, uh, the collector resistor RC and uh, we should have one RE. Okay. Uh, then uh, variable port is available here. Uh, then there is a bypassing capacitor CE. Then output will be collected at uh, the capacitor terminal. Okay. Negative end of the capacitor terminal and uh, another end should be given to ground. This is your entire circuit. We have to rig up the circuit according to the circuit diagram. Okay. And uh, you need to follow the procedure, picking up the circuit and uh, connecting the input, checking the output, and uh, we need to get the sinusoidal waveform. The expected output should be like this, and uh, you need to calculate the frequency, the frequency by using uh, the CRO, okay? So that is the basic information about the experiment. Now let us straight away move on to the demonstration. Now you can see the experimental setup and uh, the circuit has to be rigged up uh, according to the circuit diagram. And uh, this is for providing the 10 volt VCC, okay? And uh, in order to see the output, we are having the CRO and these are the CRO probe, it is very clear. You need to use the CRO probe and there is a variable port. A port is available here that also I have shown you. This is your crystal, okay? This is your crystal, Crystal, uh, crystal is available here. And uh, this is your experimental setup, fine. So let's continue. So you can familiar the components, how we have assembled. It's uh, very clear. So as you can see, uh, there is a crystal oscillator, then transistor is available here. So you have to identify the emitter and emitter collector and base terminal of transistors. Uh, these are the passive components, correct? Passive components are available. Then capacitors, everything you have to uh, note down carefully. Okay, so you have to rig up properly. How we have rigged up, you can see. You have to check the probe also. Sometimes probe won't work out. You have to verify it, whether the probe is working fine or not. Because all the components should be perfect. Then only you will get the output. Okay, so we have to provide the VCC of 10 volt, fine. Now you need to tune the output and you should get the output like this. Now it's very clear. Okay, now you have to calculate the frequency. Frequency you are supposed to calculate. How to calculate the frequency? So you have to see the, you have to measure uh, the one complete cycle. So one complete cycle, it will be starting from here and ending to here, almost uh, how many divisions? Uh, 1.2, right? 1.2, 1.2, that should be multiplied with the, the time per division. Here you have to see the time per division. Okay, so multiply the time per division, you'll be getting the time period. Time per division, time per division. Okay, uh, so we have to, uh, calculate the time period. In this fashion, you are supposed to calculate the time period. Once you get the time period, what you can do? You can calculate the frequency. How to calculate the frequency if you know the time period? So frequency is nothing but 1 by time period. Okay. So what you can do is, anyway, we computed the time period now. So I already mentioned. So time period I need to 
expensive. We first try how to calculate the time period. Mm, here, start from this point and ending to this point. Here, time you have to measure. So this particular time for one cycle into time per division. Time per division. Time per division. Okay, then take the reciprocal. 1 by uh, the time, almost this may be 1.2. 1 1.2 .2, 1 .2 into uh, this reading you are supposed to take. Okay, then you will be getting the frequency. So this is the way how to measure the frequency from the uh, CRO. Okay. When, it, when you want to measure the amplitude, what you're supposed to amplitude? So peak to peak amplitude, how to measure? So here you can see one, two, three, four, almost four. Four into, so it will be two only, four into two. That is equal to eight volt. This will be the peak to peak amplitude. Correct? Frequency also you can calculate uh, by using the time period. Okay, time period you have to calculate, then take the reciprocal. Okay, you have to measure the information from the CRO. This is, this is your expected outcome. How we connect it, you can verify once again. Fine. So be careful while selecting the ground and VCC. Check properly how we connect it. Identification of terminal, everything matters a lot. Okay. This is the way how to do the connections. Have a look on this. You have to identify the color, uh, value of resistor properly, capacitors, identify the terminals of uh, transistor, everything matters a lot. Do the connection accordingly. First of all, you have to complete the transistor part, then you can connect the crystal, right? Yeah. Then uh, you can verify the output by changing the uh, the port. RF you can change, you can tune the output. If uh, one, whenever you are changing the uh, the the port, if the output, the waveform is not varying, means you can say that there is something issue with the circuit. Like that you can plan for your experiment. Okay. Uh, in this session, what we have done is, uh, we have discussed about how to perform uh, the demonst experiment on uh, crystal based loss, crystal oscillators. Okay. So we have shown the circuit diagram, A, all those things. And ultimately, we have shown the output of the crystal type oscillator and how to calculate amplitude and uh, frequency. Those things we have discussed today. In case any clarification, please do let us know. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.